Good morning, Twitter land. Sorry, backdrop's not very pretty today. Walking through Petach Tikva, the industrial bits. This is a message for the top brass of the UK, basically the top brass of the UK, the military and the politicians, um, because something, something very, very dangerous is happening in your country. And that is to do with the disconnect between how the political and ruling elites, the quizzling elites, that's the top of the army and the top of the politicians up to the queen. <laughs> um, that's how they view Tommy Robinson and how the soldiers uh, who form the major fighting part of your army view Tommy Robinson. And the disconnect is very easy to diagnose. The disconnect is because if you get your news or if you have filmed your opinion about Tommy Robinson based on Sky News and the BBC and The Guardian and The Telegraph and The Times and the last 10 years of reporting about him, you will hold one view of who Tommy Robinson is and he'll be a Nazi, racist, thug, wife beating, whatever. Those are all the views that you will have got from that slanted media. Just exactly as Donald Trump said last night to NBC. <laughs> um, he hadn't Trump, even Trump, who has been in the media, who's had favorable media for 40 years, he had not realized how dishonest the media are. When, they, when it comes to Tommy Robinson, he never had honest media from the start and he never had positive media. That's your impression of Tommy Robinson. What you need to do before you make any more missteps and before you lose your army is you need to go on YouTube and search for Tommy Robinson banned speech. It's a a talk he gave in Leeds, it's one hour, 20 minutes. You must watch it. The alternative is to read his book, Enemy of the State. If you do that, you will start to understand what your soldiers have learned. Because your soldiers long ago gave up on Sky News and the BBC. Because your soldiers were in Afghanistan and Iraq fighting. And the coverage they got while they were there, if there was any coverage at all, didn't match their impressions. So they, they formed this they formed this suspicion about the mainstream media. So when they hear the mainstream media calling Tommy Robinson a racist, they go and check it out for themselves. And when they start watching his videos directly, they understand who he is and what he's been through at the hands of the government. And they start wondering whether this is a government and a nation and a system that they want to give their lives to protect. And unfortunately, the answer they come up with is probably not. So I'm telling you, if you run the British Army, if you run the country, watch Tommy Robinson's banned speech, the one from Leeds. You should also, one hour 20 isn't quite enough, you should also invest another hour or so and watch Tommy Robinson's Oxford Union speech. All of this is easily available on YouTube unless you pull it down. And even then that won't stop it. When you do that, you will start to understand what it is your soldiers are seeing and doing and reacting to. And that's why they want to have their picture taken with him. And when you crack down on that, you're doing irreparable damage to, to the institution of the British Armed Forces and the entire country, because they underwrite your democracy. It's very scary, actually. It's very scary because your, your disconnect between what you think you know about Tommy Robinson I would say, as a final point, you should actually go and meet him. Call him in for a meeting, he'll come. It can be private, but you should talk to the man himself. Do not rely on the BBC, do not rely on Sky News, do not rely on The Guardian to tell you who that man is. Because every impression you will get about him from those sources is 100% wrong. Hey, I'm Brian of London. This video will go up on YouTube and probably Facebook later. So if there's been interruptions, hopefully the one on YouTube, Facebook later will be full quality. Um, good morning. Uh, it's really nice and pleasantly cool here in Tel Aviv. I mean, it's above 24 probably, but weather is turning back to not so hot. Anyway, I'm Brian of London. I'm in Tel Aviv but I know a lot more about what's going on in the UK, it would appear, than the people running the army.